So I actually just recently got the brand new Apple AirTags and I wanted to run a kind of experiment to test the anti-stalking features for people who didn't have iPhones. So basically Android users out there and the results weren't that good. Let's get into it. Now, I definitely want to start off this video by saying that this is definitely not what this product was made for. And if we lived in a perfect world, people would use this product for its intended purposes, but we don't and some won't. So the experiment was basic and it went like this. Find a willing participant, put the Apple AirTag somewhere in their vehicle. They knew it was in the vehicle. They just didn't know where it was in the vehicle. See how long I could track them with the AirTag before they got some kind of audible sound that it was in the vehicle and then see if the sound was loud enough and consistent enough for them to locate where I had placed the AirTag in the vehicle. This is how that experiment went. Okay, so we're going to put the air tag right in there. All right, so let the tracking begin. I feel kind of like Batman sneaking one of those trackers onto one of the villains. Let's see exactly how well you can track somebody with this thing. And let's see exactly how long it takes for them to know that they're tracking you, especially if they don't have an iOS device. So this is gonna be day one of my little tracking experiment. The AirTag has been knowingly placed inside the participant's vehicle. Uh, the only thing they don't know is where exactly in the vehicle it's located. And that's just so when it starts beeping to see if they can actually find and locate it. Now, for the most part, day one has gone off without a hitch. I've been able to basically track the AirTag as the person moves around town. I noticed that it up Updates roughly every nine minutes or so but once the person is stationary in a certain area it actually gives me the address and gives me the option to go via the maps app to actually drive directly to where the air tag is so tomorrow is going to be day two I'll make sure to update and see if we're able to track them just the same and on day three we'll see if the security feature kicks in where the air tag is supposed to be when it's away from the iPhone for too long and it will also see if when I get close to the air tag, just in the vicinity, would it reset that three day time period or do I actually have to touch the air tag to the phone in order for that security measure to not take place? So this is gonna be day two of our little tracking experiment. And today what I did is I wanted to run a little test. So I had our willing participant meet me for lunch at a certain location, but I didn't have them tell me exactly where they were. So I used the AirTag to track them to their current location. And then when I got there, I told them to go to any of the restaurants surrounding us, park in that parking lot, and I would use the AirTag to track them directly to that restaurant. And within a nine minute interval, I was able to do just that kind of scary because they still don't know exactly where the air tags are located within their vehicle they just simply know that it's there so let's see what happens tomorrow day three where the security feature is supposed to kick in and it's actually supposed to make an audible noise within the car so the participant knows that there's a foreign object in their car somewhere and let's see if they're able to actually locate the air tag with that sound so the consensus of the experiment is that after three days of tracking the air tag did make an audible sound that was loud enough for the person to actually find where the air tag was located this is important because the sound was not only audibly loud enough, but it was consistent enough that when they got in the vehicle, they were able to hear it, locate where the air tag and then remove it. However, this is still after three full days of tracking this person's every movement, getting updates from time to time where they were, and even being able to get turn by turn directions to their exact location. So still kind of scary. So the second part of the experiment was to see if I could prolong or kind of disable that three day window for the air tag to make a beeping sound because by default, what it does is that if the air tag is out of the vicinity of the owner of that particular air tag after three days, that's when the security feature kicks in. So on day two, I wanted to go in the location in the vicinity of that car that the air tag was placed in and see if just me being in that area with my iPhone and the AirTag detecting that I was close by with that three day cycle sort of reset. And it did actually reset. On the third day that the AirTag was supposed to make that security beeping sound, it did not. There was nothing, there was no sound, there was no indication at all. So it seems just getting in the vicinity or close within a couple of feet of the AirTag itself with that paired iPhone would then reset that security feature that basically tells the air tag the owner was close by and that three day cycle then seems to begin again which is 
kind of another scary security thing. Now, this experiment was extremely interesting to me, and I'll preface this by saying that Apple's definitely not the only company out there that's doing technology like this. You have Apple, you have Samsung, and you do have Tag. And it seems like more and more companies are going to be generating particular technologies like this, where Apple kind of differs is the fact that their network is so vast because the AirTags actually update when it connects via Bluetooth to any Find Me device that's around it. So that's an iPhone, that's an iPad, that's a Mac, and there are a ton of these out there, a lot more than any other network. So Apple kind of creates this vast net that gives you the ability to track these things a lot more precisely than any other product that's currently on the market. And they've opened that Find Me network to all these other companies that want to create products like this. So as we move forward now, this is going to become a thing. This is now a product that is out there with an intended purpose of tracking your lost devices, but people can then use it for nefarious reasons. And you see a lot of agencies, like domestic abuse agencies, worried about how these tags can be used in a negative light for someone who is an abuser or someone who is hiding from an abuser. These tags can actually be used to sniff out that location in three days, even at the base security level for someone with an Android device is such, such a long time to track somebody from. You can get so much information before they even realize that this thing is anywhere near them. And again, if you get really close to it, you can actually potentially track them indefinitely, which is a really, really scary thing. The technology is out there. It's going to only get better and I'm presumably the tracking will only get more precise. So hopefully some of these security features will also evolve with the technology as it goes along because it's kind of scary if you really think about it. But I definitely want to know what you guys think. What do you think of the Apple AirTag as a piece of tech in general? It's a little scary that this can be used to potentially track somebody indefinitely or over the span of at least three days. Share your comments in the comment section down below. I'd love to know what you think. Guys, thank you so much for checking out the video if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button subscribe button and bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the videos we put up on this channel go ahead and check out some of the other videos we have up now and as always guys make sure to stay safe out there and until i see you guys next time peace out